Hi everyone and welcome to the first part of our new project series on building a Hacker News clone in Vue.js. In this first tutorial, we'll be covering exactly how you can set up your development machine so that you can start creating your own Vue.js applications. We'll get a very basic Vue.js application up and running and then we'll make some changes to that and serve it using the Vue CLI. So jumping into our Visual Studio code, we are going to start setting up our environment. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is open up the terminal. And if you haven't got it already, you're going to want to install the Vue CLI. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be using the version 2.9.3. Currently, version 3.00 is in beta, and I'll be updating this when it goes to production. Now, in your terminal, you're going to want to either install using npm or yarn. Now, if you're doing it through npm, it will be npm install view dash CLI like so. And if you're doing it through yarn, it will be yarn global add and again view dash CLI. Once that's done, you can check to see if the view CLI has been successfully installed by typing view dash and capital V and that should return 2.9.3. Excellent. So we've got everything we need to set up our own Vue.js application. Now, within your code editor, open up a new directory. And I've already done this and I've called it Hacker News Clone dash YouTube. And within that directory, you're going to want to do view, init and webpack. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to ask you a couple of questions that will determine how your project is set up. So the first of which is generate in the current directory. Yes. We then want to specify the project's name, which will be simply Hacker News Clone. Project description, keep that as is. The author, again, as is. Next, we want the runtime and the compiler. And we do want to install the view router. We do want ESLint. And we want to use the standard package to lint our code. Finally, we don't want the unit tests just yet. And we don't want end to end tests with Nightwatch. And I'm going to select to use yarn for this. Once we've done this, this will go away and create all the necessary files for our basic Vue.js application. Now that that's all been set up for us and all of our packages have been installed, all of the necessary files have been created, we can now serve this project by calling yarn run and dev, like so. And this will kick off a webpack dev server, which will be available on localhost port 8080. Coming into our project, you should hopefully see on localhost port 8080 our new Vue.js application up and running. Now, this will represent the base application which we will build up over the next few tutorials in order to create our own Hacker News clone. Now, that's all we're going to do for this tutorial. We've managed to successfully set up our Vue.js application that we can now expand upon in the next few tutorials. Now, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you loved it, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.